All right, what up, YouTube family? It's your girl, I go by Nick, and I am back with another housey video. And today, I am talking strictly to my producers. So last night, I went on YouTube and I tried to catch up on all my old comments, just trying to get my YouTube page, you know, more of a presence, let people know there's a real person behind all these videos. Um, so I am talking to the producers because those are the most like in attentive people those are the ones that don't understand the business the most those are the ones that get fucked over the most it's just and those are the ones that i get the most questions from as producers so in this video i am going to talk to my producers and i'm going to answer some questions so if you have more questions please leave them in the comments and before you finish watching this video please subscribe to the youtube channel like this video and make sure you hit the bell so you can get notifications every single time I upload because right now I'm talking to producers I'm gonna be talking to the artists I'm gonna be talking to managers I'm just gonna be talking to everybody just giving you guys all the knowledge that I know about the music business so with any further ado let's kick into it uh, one of the biggest and most prominent questions that I get from producers is how to register my beats on BMI or ASCAP but I'm using BMI or how to when to that's a big big question when to register my beats and um so i'm gonna answer all those questions right now let's get into it so i logged in to my bmi account just so i can like go through it step by step and i know you guys can't uh see it so if you scroll down from this video after you finish watching this video i want you to click on the video that says how to register my beats on bmi when you watch that video, it'll show you what's on my screen as I go through step by step. So the first question was, when do I register my beats? Um, so if you are a producer and you are making music for film or television, that's when you register your beats. Now, before I go even further into that topic, let me elaborate a little bit. So let's say I make a beat, boom, 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 and it has no vocals on it. No vocals at all, but I want to submit that beat to a music uh, supervisor to be in a film or a television show. I'll register my beat then because you know that this beat is being sent out without any lyrics on it. This is the complete project. That's when you register. Um, if you putting your beats up on a beat store or anything like that, you don't have to register the beats because the intentions is to sell the beats email but the intention is to sell the beats once you sell the beats then you uh then an artist will jump on the beat once the artist jumps on the beat it's up to the artist to make sure they register the beat and credit the producer on the song unless the producer and the artist have a relationship but whoever is taking care of the paperwork behind the business for the artist much must make sure that they have the producer's information prior to registering the song so as a producer, like I said, uh, you, I'm, let, let's pretend that I'm a uh, film, television, music supervisor. You sent me your beat. I like it. I want to put it in my, in my, uh, my, my film. So what you would do, and usually the, the studio that is licensing your beat, usually they'll take care of the uploading factor of it. They'll get your information and they'll take care of the uploading factor. But if any case you have to do it, I want you guys to know exactly. So when you are going to work, register your work, you're going to go to work registration. You type in the work title and you, when it says work content, there is a, there is a, uh, 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 a drop down menu that says work content. This is where you're going to let BMI know if this is music and lyrics or just music. So for the producers, if you're registering your beat, you're going to go music only. Now, again, I must stress you do not have to register every single beat that you're putting on your beat store but if you are submitting these beats to be in film television or anywhere you must submit to bmi or ascap or csac or whatever performance rights organization you're using i had to take care of that heating situation but um yeah whatever performance rights organization you are using you must submit if you are planning on submitting your beats without vocals and you just want to get it out there, you want to get it used for film, television, whatever. Listen and listen close. If you are sampling while making your beats, you must clear 
samples. So please clear all samples. And if you would like to know how to clear samples, watch my next YouTube um, video. I feel like I answered uh, pretty much all the questions that I was being asked. I Like I said, I don't have my notes with me right now. So if you have any more comments or questions about registering your beats, please leave them in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I am going to be uploading content every single day. And I may say something that's wrong. So I may have to go back and, uh, you know, retract my statement or things may change. You know how the music industry works. Things are moving fast. Things are changing every single day. And like the old videos that I have uploaded, some of those things, even in those videos, have changed today. So I want you guys to subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I will be uploading consistently so that I can give you guys all the knowledge, all the tools, all the resources you need so that you can register your music. I can't get you famous. I can't make you go viral. I can't give you marketing and promotion, but I can damn sure show you how to register your music so you can get played. Um, I say played. Uh, register your music so you can get paid when your music is played. There it is. So, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. And I want to say, uh, what did I want to say? I forgot what I wanted to say. I don't have my notes. I hate doing videos without my notes. But um, yeah, this was a pretty good video. Uh, less than 15 minutes, which is how I like it. Um, and I hope I answered all the questions that you guys had because it was a lot. I think I had like 97 comments of people asking pretty much the same thing. So if I did not answer your question and you are still confused or you still need help or whatever it is, leave your questions in the comment section because I will be on YouTube Studio answering all these questions on time. So Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.